All right, everybody, this is Ross, and in today's video, we are doing a process, a technique that we do every single year on the fig trees. It's called thinning. And we actually did a video very uh, recently, maybe you saw it, on taking off brebas, um, all in an effort to get as much energy into these limbs as possible. Because if we can get as much energy into these new limbs, these new growth, these new branches that are coming out, we will have an earlier and more abundant main crop. Now the main crop forms on the new growth here is what you see. The brebas form on last year's growth, like the one I had taken off right at this location on this brown wood. The new stuff is this green stuff here. And on that green growth will form new fruits. So what I'm doing is I'm going around today and I am looking very closely at these trees individually. And I'm saying to myself, well, how old is the tree? It's in a five gallon size pot. Is it well rooted out? How thick is the trunk? Um, what is the overall health of this tree? How many fruits do I think that this little tree could handle? Excuse me guys, I think this tree could potentially put out, if I'm really lucky, and I do everything right with this tree from day one, which is about right now, till the end of my season, I think this tree could probably put out maybe 30 to 50 fruits. So what I'm thinking here is that with all these new branches that are coming out, you can see it's not just it's not just one or two branches. Like we have ourselves a main trunk. It comes out and it branches out in three different directions. So last year, as an example, we had fruits on this length of the branch. We had fruits on this length of the branch and this length of the branch. These are now our main scaffolds that we've formed. Um, so from these main scaffolds, how many fruiting branches should I select and allow to grow? I could just leave this be and let this grow and do its thing, but it's going to have all these little branches everywhere that really are not all that productive, especially these branches lower down on the tree because they're not going to have that apical dominance. The higher branches, the higher points on the tree, get that apical dominance and suppress the growth of these lower branches. Now to get fruits earlier and more abundantly, we need to have vigorous, healthy, strong growth. So if we are suppressing this growth here in any way, it's just not going to fruit. So what I would suggest is you come in here and this is what I do every single spring with every single tree whether it's in a pot, whether it's in ground, I come in here and I thin out these new shoots. And I just, I just really break them off with my thumb and that's it. And I come in here and I evaluate which of these new branches is probably going to do the best. And overall, how many do I want? I would imagine out of these five, there's five just on this one scaffold. That's way too many for a young tree like this. I would imagine I want maybe three at most. So I'm going to take off this guy back here, which is probably not going to do all that much for me. And also, I have to make a decision here. Do I want to keep four? Do I want to keep three? Or do I want to keep two? Well, we can also evaluate the shape of the tree. We can back up a little bit and I can say, all right, well, the tree's already coming out this way. It's already coming out this way. It's going out that way. So I kind of want the tree to branch out this way and this way from this point here. And I also want to keep some of the stronger growth if I can help it. Now, these two right here, this branch and also this branch are kind of growing out in the same direction. So I'm going to take off the one that looks weaker to me. You also want to select the healthier looking branches. Sometimes you may see some fig mosaic virus and you want to go with the healthier looking shoots. So we can leave that three there for now until we can evaluate the tree. 
Um, I also want to come in here on this branch and take off the lower stuff that's going to get suppressed. Now I could, if I want, let's say, keep this branch here because this is then going to branch out this way and actually get myself potentially a fourth scaffold if I want. So I'm going to leave that. And I think that's about it. That's all I'm going to leave on this tree. I have three, one, two, three. But you know what? Let's also take this one off down here. We come down to this branch. We're taking off that. We're taking off that. We have a really nice thick one back in the back. We have one right here. And we have one that's growing upwards. We're going to take that one out. And then that's it. That's all we're going to do to this tree. Another tree as an example here. We have uh, three main fruiting branches here off of the main scaffold. We've got three branches on this particular fruiting branch and we have um, four new potential branches on this fruiting branch and then two or three potentially on this fruiting branch. So I want this one probably to branch out more than the others because um, this one's in the center. We don't want this one to branch out too much. So I'm gonna take out the two down here which seem a bit weaker. These will be two that will fruit for us. And then over here, I'm probably gonna leave all of this. And I'm also gonna leave all of this over here. So we're really not thinning all that much. On a more mature tree, this is a very mature tree here that's six or seven years old, a large pot. We're gonna take off this lower branch here. And I'm just simply reducing the number of growth points because then we're gonna, it's gonna redirect the energy into these points where it matters, where I can get more vigorous, healthy growth again, that's gonna fruit more abundantly and earlier. And that's really it guys, is I'm gonna come in here and evaluate the total number of fruiting branches that I want for my particular tree based off of what I think it can handle how many fruiting branches do I want? How many fruits are gonna be on each fruiting branch? You know, that's sort of up to the energy that you can give this tree and how much it will put out in one season. So you have to kind of eye this guys. There's not much else I can really say on this subject. It's just that it's very important, especially for people in shorter seasons and for people that wanna shape their tree in the right way and have more productive trees in the long run. You can do this just about anywhere. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and tuning in. Uh, check us out on Fig Boss, subscribe to the channel, and uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We have way more fig videos to come this season, guys. So if you're new, you know, follow along with the channel. You guys are gonna learn so much about figs. We'll see everybody soon. Take care.